here you are, you've got a dilemma because you, you want to create your own material, but you don't know how to do it without copying someone else's system. Well, there's a very simple way about or to go about creating your own material. And that is by picking on general concepts. So what are general concepts? General concepts are concepts that belong to the general sphere, as it were. Well, when we look at something like, say, uniqueness, you know, so, so in marketing, uniqueness, or headlines, or objections, or target audience, these are general concepts. What you need to do is you need to take your spin, you need to give your spin on how target audience works. You need to give your spin on how uniqueness works. And in doing so, you're going to not only attract customers because they're looking for uniqueness, they're looking for target audience, they're looking for headlines. So not only will you create an attraction factor for clients, but now you're starting to build your own system. And that makes a big difference because you're starting to you're starting to project yourself as an expert and clients start to see you as an expert and it's your system. If you want to create your own system, you, you have to make sure that you create everything based on these, these general topics and then you expand on them. However, if you're going to go about creating these general topics or even very specific topics or sequences, you have to understand one concept and that is branding. What is branding? Well, there are, the, the, you know, let me give you an example. Uh, we have a concept called the yes and yes factor. The yes and yes factor is about pricing. So when you start to look about, look around you, you'll see that there are lots of books and lots of material on pricing. But what we've done is we've given it a name. We've given it the yes and yes factor. So when clients talk about the yes and yes factor, or when we refer to the yes and yes factor, clients know exactly what we're talking about. Branding is critical if you want to start to own that sequence, own that system, own whatever it is that you've created. When you start to own something, it makes a big difference. We've, we've named things like the bikini concept, where you give away 90% and you keep 10%. Well, what happens is that clients go out there and they'll talk about the bikini concept. So they don't refer to something as, hey, uh, you should go out and give 90% and 10%. What they say is, you should see Sean's uh, blog post about the bikini concept, or you should see Sean's uh, system or book about the yes and yes factor. Essentially what they're talking about is pricing or giving away. These are general concepts, but by branding it, we're now creating what is a viral factor. People like names and brand names so that they can define things in very small uh, words or syllables or um, sentences. And when you give them that brand, they're able to then spread the word. They're able to get it out there and your concept now becomes proprietary. They refer back to you and say, you should go and see the yes and yes factor. You should see this, you should see that. That's really important because now you've got a solid a solid control over the whole um, concept, which was general before that. So if you don't want to just quote someone else, then you have to create your own concept. A good place to start is with something general, something like headlines or uh, target audience or something like that. That not only acts as an attraction device, but you can then build your own system around it and it becomes your system. The second stage is to make sure that you brand it. Because when you brand it, it becomes your own. It becomes proprietary and people refer to it. And that leads to a viral kind of marketing because people often say, hey, you should read about Sean's yes and yes factor. And they speak in front of an audience. And so it becomes viral because now they've got a brand concept that they can send out to everybody else. So those three things, those three steps will make a big difference to the way you can start to create your own concepts, your own system, and become or be regarded as the expert by your clients. That's me, Sean D'Souza, saying bye for now. Bye-bye.